What's up guys, it's John. Today I'll be going over the best support characters in Apex Legends, in my opinion. First of all, there are three characters that are considered support, and those are Pathfinder, Lifeline, and Bloodhound. I personally have only played Lifeline and Bloodhound, and of the two, I prefer Bloodhound. Um, my main was first Lifeline, and now it's Bloodhound, and I'm really enjoying Bloodhound. Um, I don't like Pathfinder, so I will not be including that character as one of the best. However, I'm going to explain why I don't like Pathfinder. So, um, it's not a bad character, but when you compare Pathfinder's abilities to that of Bloodhound and Lifeline, it's just much less useful. Getting around the game isn't hard, it's easy to mantle and climb things vertically. There's already lots of zip lines, and usually when I see a Pathfinder grapple at me, it just makes them an easier kill and separates them from their teammates more. Also, while Lifeline's health drone and both the Bloodhound's abilities can be used for mid-fight, I find that shooting down vertically at people is much harder and less useful than being in the fight at the same level, which is usually where you'll find Pathfinder because of his grapple. Um, this is probably the reason someone would choose Pathfinder, is to get the high ground and shoot down on people. But when the teammates can't do it, it just separates the team and makes things harder. And it's hard to shoot people from above. Uh, I mean, if you're good at shooting people from above, it's more power to you, but it's hard and it's a smaller target. There's also a lot of situations where it's not useful, like if there's no verticality. If you're in the middle of nowhere, then you're going to grapple and you're going to expose yourself and go, go further from your teammates, which is not good. And you can't grapple up to a higher location, which just makes his grapple useless. I just basically feel that 80% of the time it's not useful in a fight, or even after one. Um, his passive, which reveals the next circle location, is only really useful late game. And then the uh, zip lines that are already in the game make his zip lines kind of useless, and mobility is so good it's not really useful. So now for Lifeline, which was my first main character, and I've been playing her for the past like three or four days that the game's been out, and then yesterday I switched to Bloodhound, and he's just amazing. So um, for Lifeline, you gotta admit, her ultimate is the ultimate gift for teammates. It usually comes with a purple helmet or body armor or phoenix kit, and many other good possibilities out of that care package. It does sound OP, but if you plan on winning games, it's not very useful in the late game, since everyone's already looted, and that's something to consider. Her health drone is useful after almost all fights and useful during some, both in the beginning and late game. So that's nice. Her passive ability is also really good at times. She revives 25% faster than other characters. And she gets a shield while reviving that has gotten me a lot of revives during fights. And it's especially useful when a sniper downs a teammate because you can just put up that shield while you're reviving and you're good to go. I think she's a very good character in general if you can get past the useless late game ultimate. Bloodhound is now my main character, and the reason for this is the utility he has. Both of his abilities are useful late game, and his passive is great. His main role is to provide info for his teammates, and also to go ham with the ultimate, which makes it very easy to do when enemies are easy to see with the ultimate on, just black and white with the red enemies, and footsteps everywhere, info everywhere. And his movement speed is nearly the fastest in the game behind Wraith's ult, but it is the fastest movement speed with a gun in hand. So his ultimate is very useful and makes him very fast. And uh, makes it easier to spot enemies and get that upper hand. Yeah, I just think he's a really powerful character during fights. And even out of fights to track people down. Because his passive allows you to see footsteps and open chests and other things and uh, makes tracking people easy, makes coming up on people without them knowing easy. Just a really good character, hard to counter. And that's all. So overall, I think Bloodhound is the best support. Lifeline coming in second. Pathfinder, not really useful overall because of his abilities. Um, and keep in mind, all characters move at the same speed. I've been hearing people telling me like they move at different speeds, but that's not true. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you make a decision on your support character. And if not, good luck with Pathfinder <laughs> or Lifeline. Lifeline is a good character. Keep using Lifeline and Bloodhound. I don't know about Pathfinder.
and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.